everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine. In this channel, I share with you my passion for growing cactus and other desert plants, usually over a cup of coffee, but for today, my source of caffeine is this Coca-Cola with coffee. So this is something new from Coke. It's um, Coke with coffee flavor. So, so far I've seen two flavors, caramel and dark roast. There is another one, vanilla. I've tried the caramel, this one, and the dark roast. I prefer this caramel. Um, it is close to the taste of root beer, but not quite. This tastes more like coffee. I like this better than the dark roast because the dark roast for me is too much of a coffee taste to be a soft drink. But I still have to try the vanilla flavor. So if you've tried this uh, Coke with coffee, let me know guys if you like it. What do you think? Yeah, so anyway for today, so I have uh, Euphorbia right here, two Euphorbia plants. So we'll talk about Euphorbia for today. So Euphorbia are known to be dioecious, so their flowers can be male or female. But before we go to the flowers, I forgot to introduce to you <laughs> this Euphorbia. This one is a Euphorbia anoplia or more commonly known as the Tanzanian zipper, zipper plant. And then this one on the left is a Euphorbia obesa or a baseball Euphorbia. So I am fortunate to have them both in flower for today. And as I was telling you, Euphorbia can, are dioecious, meaning they can either have a male or female flowers. So let me give you a close-up of the flowers because one of them here is a female and one of them is a male flower. So this is the in Euphorbia anoplia. So this one has male flowers. So let me see how close I can get. So Euphorbia with male flowers the tips of, you can see there's a lot of like little prongs or little stems coming out of the burgundy flowers. And at the tips of those stems, you can see yellow powder. Those are the pollen. So if I brush my finger on the pollen, they will easily stick to my fingers. So those yellow powder are pollen actually they easily fall off when I brush my finger so those are the yellow pollen so this one is a male euphorbia flower now going to this euphorbia obesa this one is a female euphorbia flower so a female euphorbia flower has three prongs on top and no pollen so if you can see you will see like three yellow prongs on the tips. That means this is a female euphorbia flower. So if you want to get seeds out of your euphorbia, you have to transfer the pollen of the male euphorbia to the flower of a female euphorbia. So you can do that. You can... Um, use a brush if you want to transfer the pollen from here to here or you can use uh, little tweezers to transfer the pollen or I've um, in the past I've also just uh, physically <laughs> placed this against uh, or rub the flowers against each others if you can without you know tipping over or spilling your rocks in your soil if you can do that the idea is you have to transfer the pollen of your male euphorbia flower to your female so for this time I'm going to use this brush just so you can see the pollens wow the, the pollens are falling as I use the brush I don't think the brush will work this time so we're gonna do another way okay so I'm going to try and rub this one the, the female flower onto the male flowers ok 
okay. So I'm trying to hold the soil in the top dressing just so they won't spill. Let me try and get this focused for you guys. Okay. So this Euphorbia obesa, I am definite that this is female because I've uh, gotten a seed out of this obesa before. I pollinated the flowers with um, another Euphorbia of mine that was in flower of the, at that time. It was the Snowflake Euphorbia. So I was able to get seeds from this Euphorbia obesa and uh, I I sow the seeds, however, it's almost two months now and the seeds haven't come up yet. So, I'm not sure maybe the seeds are not viable or maybe I harvested the seeds too soon. <laughs> I haven't had any luck, guys, um, sowing euphorbia seeds. So, I am not even sure if this will take because these are two different euphorbia. So, I am not sure how compatible they are, but we will see. So the idea is just to transfer the pollen. Oops, I am spilling some top dressing. <laughs> so to transfer the pollen onto the female euphorbia flowers. Okay. So that is it. So this is just a quick video showing you the difference between the male and the female euphorbia. I think I read somewhere that there are some euphorbias that can actually have both male and female flowers in the same plant. So I'm not very sure which type of euphorbia that is. But if you want to know more about euphorbia and you want to see a good collection of euphorbia, I suggest you go visit Clyde Morris' channel. I'll put the link up on the screen uh, to his YouTube channel. He has an amazing collection of euphorbia and he is more knowledgeable on euphorbia than me so if you have uh, if you want to know more about euphorbia and see his collection guys i encourage you to go visit his channel All right, so that is it for this video. So just to give you an example of how a male euphorbia flower looks like and a female euphorbia flower. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, guys, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants. And um, I will do an update video if this is successful if our pollination is successful then you will see another video in my channel if not then you won't see another video <laughs> or i'll probably mention it in one of my vlogs in the future whether our pollination is successful or not all right thank you guys for watching until next time have a great day and coca-cola cheers